You earned the ability to curve bullets. Je la mets dans mon chapeau. Elle me dit, il fait trop chaud. The song. Je la mets dans Her un chapeau. My mother was one of them, an assassin. And you were an abomination that had to be dealt with. Your father, however, had other ideas. Elise, Elise, do you copy me? I'm here, my love. Are you all right? Oh, a little sore, but I can travel. Good. What of the Brotherhood and the Immortal? He's already looking for us. Complications. Where are you? You can find me at the corner of Avenue de Bretagne. Stay put, Elise. Kill anyone who comes near you that doesn't have my charm or my good looks. God. I already have a little mouse with me that has both. But yes, I will. So it must be nice being charming because you don't have to actually be funny. You just state that you're charming and people are like, you are charming, aren't you? I like charming people. Hold on a second. Let me turn this. Oh, get away from me, Rusty. We're back and we're kicking ass. All right. Uh, I had to stop it completely and listen to the uh, listen to the audio just to make sure that I didn't fuck up again. And I, I hope it was okay. If you guys have any suggestions about the audio, just go ahead and let me know. I would appreciate I would appreciate the help most definitely. All right. So now that I yammered on about. Um, Now that I yammered on a lot about uh, what the hell happened, let's go ahead and cover this story here without spoiling it. Because the lore of this game is pretty nice. Idiot. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't even know how I killed him. Knife? So there was a comic book called Wanted and the game called Wanted and the the um, movie called Wanted. The game is based off the movie and kind of off the comic book. Wesley's attitude is more more of the comic book and less of the movie. Because in the movie, he was coming into his own, and he kind of became a little bit more desensitized, but in the comic book, he just didn't, didn't give a fuck, pretty much. some just terminating niggas so anyway um this comic was about uh this dude in a cubicle named wesley that had anxiety attacks and he was totally nerded up and um nobody liked him and then a the girl came through and she she uh explained to him that his father was this like super awesome killer and then The, uh, you know, he was a supervillain. And um, the supervillains and superheroes got to the point where they were busting each other's ass, right? But the supervillains got sick and tired of just being put in jail and breaking out again, so they linked up with each other and became a guild of supervillains and then they defeated the superheroes in a very interesting way which I won't reveal. Kinda like the way he flew up there. Oh no you did it! So 
So then, uh, Wesley's father was like the, um, most awesome guy ever, and his name was the killer. But he got killed, and they had to, uh, train Wesley to be a killer himself. I don't think he had a cool code name. Uh, I don't want uh, this. I want to know what's up here, though. Other than ammo. So the whole book was basically um, the the superheroes weren't a factor. Something happened to them, and uh, again, I'm not going to reveal. But the book was based on whether or not the supervillains should be a secret society called the fraternity or they should uh, come out of being a secret society and just rule the world outright using terror and and scaredy cat shit and all that stuff right that's what the comic book was about definitely worth a read it uh it ends it begins it, it uh, covers all of Wesley um, becoming becoming a killer, and it, it has a nice twist to the story that that um, won't you know won't be spoiled by watching the movie. The movie has a completely different story to it, completely. Let me get the fuck. Oh man, see the problem is that. Um, Wesley can't dodge. Like if he's left out, outside or cross here, Wesley's dad, they can't like roll. So you have to kind of run to cover as fast as possible. And if you uh, your finger was stuck on the uh, the extra aim button, then you kind of get screwed. Anyway. The movie was about the same thing, a dude in a cubicle, except um, they, they got him, they, they got him and trained him because they needed him to kill the man who killed his father. And the fraternity, instead of it being like, hey, oh shit. Instead of it being like a bunch of um, people who, uh, come on, dude, uh, let me, I'll finish telling you about this story. Let me just go ahead and finish this shit. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting on my nerves. Is that it? So apparently the fraternity was was linked to a mystic loom uh, in a textile a textile fraternity, which is interesting because I belonged to a textile fraternity in college because my degree is textile engineering, which makes it funny. This is why this story is attracting attractive to me. The whole fraternity works out on at, at a loom that makes cotton, and then there's a special loom. Shut up. Sorry. There's a special loom that makes my, uh, or makes the names that they need to kill. So it's not, it's not who kills, it's not assassins that make the marks, but it's fate. Fate is what kills the, uh, people and the assassins just carry out the hits. Very weird. Very weird. So... That was the uh, movie, and the two stories are completely different. You know, if um, but to me, they're both badass. Now, my homeboy, who uh, we're going to talk to tonight on the podcast, uh, Brandon thinks that the uh, he didn't like the movie, but the only reason he gave me was that he didn't like the main character, and you know, he's he's a damn hipster. He probably just read the comic first, and then he's all like. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm so special because I read the comic and you know, this movie wasn't faithful to the comic. And it's like, well, if you read the comic, 
like the stories aren't even close. The, the only thing that's like similar is the premise. And then that's it. And that is way better because they didn't try to force anything in. And the fan service that you got was just basically killing shit. Like that's your, you know, oh, what do you want in a movie? Well, I want to go to a movie where somebody has nine millimeters and they run through the whole place and shoot people in the face and, and destroy folks and jump through windows and do superhero shit, even though they're not supposed to be superheroes. That's not cool to you? Like, nope. Because the main, the main character had a bad actor, which, come on now. The movie had an all-star cast. It had Morgan Freeman, it had Angelina Jolie, and it had the dude that plays Professor X in X-Men First Class. I mean, come on, really? He doesn't like the X-Men First Class guy. And that's why the movie sucks. He just sit there through a whole hour and a half of the movie complaining that it isn't, the guy is not as good even though the story was completely different. Man, whatever, hipster. Anyway, that should be episode 13 of the podcast. I'm fully aware that by the time this comes out, podcast will have been over and done with. Probably by a long shot. Anyway, let me get back to playing this game. Stop running my fucking mouth, right? Well, oh no! Jeez. Come on! I need to find a better place to run. Fuck this. This is me improvising. Oh! Oh! I see you! I saw it. I see. I see you. Or whatever. Let me get this guy. You dead. Who's left? Did I shoot everybody already? Man, that always happens. The moment I get that guy and choke him up, everybody's dead. All right, see those little bleeping no lights? You're supposed to shoot them. And then you're supposed to die. <sighs> you're supposed to shoot them to unlock the comic book covers. Anyway, I, I enjoyed all three. I enjoyed the movie. I obviously enjoyed the game. I enjoyed the comic. They were both three different stories. This, this video game takes over after, after the um, movie happens. So it's like not a story like they just kind of pull the story in. You don't have to watch the movie. They actually added like, it's apparently you're supposed to get this after the movie, but they don't really spoil the movie at all. It, I thought it was well done. Ah, give me that. That's what I'm talking about. New shit. New shit. Where do you think I was? Oh, isn't that sweet? All right, let me see if I can shoot that thing from up here. Nope. How are you supposed to shoot it? There we go. Nothing happened. Oh, there's another thing over there. Weird. What the? Oh. Is it supposed to be leading me to something? What's the point of those things? Whatever. Maybe there's something on the other side. What the? What the? 
Dude, you don't want none of this? You can tell by the full leather outfit I'm wearing that I ain't to be fucked with. Somebody stays in cover too long. Ah! Insult to injury. Let's see what they got over here. After I blew up all those things, nothing happened, really. Did I blow those things up before? I think I probably did. What a waste. What? There's another lit thing over there. Did you see that, guys? Is there a point to all of this? Alright, now what? What is the point to those? What's the meaning? I shot them all and nothing happened. I'm gonna have to look that up. It's, uh, this thing's pissing me off. Anyway. Rolling on through here. You know I likes to keep it thorough. Thorough. Cross, my love, you on the wrong side of the street. It's no good, Elise. The immortal is onto us. You're gonna have to make a run for it. You. With a blanket. Trail of blood. Now, move. I cover you with a blanket. Maybe they will not notice. They don't even seem to be trying to kill her anyway. I mean, you guys don't know what I'm I'm saying, but by covering her, I, it means that I'm just basically drawing everyone's fire. It's weird. They make no, absolutely no effort to try and kill her. shoot me but I can't shoot him He's hiding behind the gate for goodness sakes where is Elise she's still hanging out there oh, better duck Started getting into it there for a second. Almost died. Red means I'm hitting you. Oh, 
Alright, she goes. Come on! We got two bullets left. Thank you. Alright. That handles that. I know, I see you. But I'm gonna have to just... Oh! I need more bullets. Thank you. Let's see how much I can load up over here. You know, it would be nice if you could get another gun. But I kind of am enjoying just shooting people in the face with pistols. And also, I think France is a weird place because obviously you put the bullets... Obviously you put the bullets in the bookshelf. No, 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 no. The, the bullets, it is funny. Because the bullets do not belong in the, the closet. They always belong in the bookshelf, you know, the floor. Just we aware. that the um, bombs, the little bomb things in this game are pretty satisfactory. I'm so satisfied just blowing people up. For those of you who didn't know, um, Elise is right there on the right side of the screen. You see her red hair? You know, look, this guy will run right by Elise and not do shit about it. I mean, these guys are like, they're just firing at me. It's like I'm covering Elise, but there's like no, no reason. Like she could have just walked the fuck on through. They don't even give a shit about her. It's, they just want to kill me. to kill at least what the fuck what the fuck oh, I'm gonna have to do that all over again I'm gonna have to be faster they wanted to kill at least they could have done it way easier you know what I mean they just walk, walk up there and shoot her in the face I'm supposed to be covering her but there's there's no point to that they're just like hey it's a turret section congratulations and you're just like what see look at that no rhyme or reason for it whatsoever. What the fuck, man? Those guys are impossible to hit. This lame-ass turret. Alright, last time. Let's do this.
guy's impossible to hit up there. Look at him floating back and forth. Alright, she's through. Yeesh, man. I don't need this in my life. Hate this part. This is like the only part you do it, too. They're just like, you know what, be cool. I want to do one of these sections with the uh, turret. Yes! You're the man now, dog! And my dog looks at me like, no, you're the dog now, man. All right. Man, that scene was kind of a pain in the butt, don't you think? I guess it was one thing just shooting the people behind the, the uh, turret, but it's another when the people shooting you are knocking down your defenses. I need to save my baby. Uh-oh. My dog's on the case again. Where my dog's at? Barf, barf. Where are you guys at? There you are. Step on out. That didn't even touch you. That sucks. I wanted to see you fly in the air. Ah. 
the there he is. One, I mean that's one headshot. That's supposed to hit him. There we go. That's pretty nice sniper rifle, huh? Who's shooting at me? There is somebody. Got him. Report stance in the bowels! That's why you don't do that. I normally like to fire kind of sideways, you know? Ouch. Who's shooting at me? Who's shooting at me? Who is shooting at me? I don't see anybody. The guy over there. It's like you can't take enough hits. Ah, oh, you're supposed to die. Come on back. At least you don't have to reload this pistol because they're kind of lazy on this part. It's more of a shooting gallery. At least my girlfriend's on the move. So I almost feel like there's no way she can die. There he is. Trust me. Still, always. I did not have a choice. You shot at my face. What am I supposed to do, good. that? You were expecting less. He's forbidden by the code. He shouldn't be here. Mm, and yet he's in my arms. Give me the boy. Our son, Ross. Yeah. Our son. Our son. <laughs> Elise! No! My son now, bitch. Let him go. I mean, how long does it take to reload that Shoot sniper rifle? Really? Immortal. The head of the Paris fraternity. To a fanatic like him, you had a scope that big, couldn't hit nobody with a headshot. And the Paris fraternity is here now. Obviously, Chicago, doesn't play very many games. Not only because of you. 